So I ended up picking this up. Just needs front wheels because they're bold. Um, tune it up, clean it up. I got the bagger for it. Um, I do a lot of these one mowers, so I just happen to keep these wheels in stock. So it's going to be easy peasy, one, two, three. But the cool part is, if, if you guys remember, my, uh, my flipper buddy who found me an aerator, and in return I gave him the lead on a $3,000 zero-turn Cub Cadet lawnmower. Well, he reached out to me and says, Hey, man, I know a guy selling still weed whacker, one, one boy Honda pad, personal pace, rear-wheel drive, self-propelled lawnmower with the bag, and this Craftsman Leaf back. Three in one. Suck, shred, or mulch. So I know the lighting's pretty horrible, but you know, like I said, as I work on stuff, it's gonna get lighter out. Uh, I'm gonna start with the Craftsman first, and I'll drag everything else out, and you know, we'll go from there. Oh, and here's a cool thing too. So a guy, believe it or not, is going to trade me his $500 Honda powered Husqvarna all-wheel drive lawnmower for this Toro. Uh, he has a receipt for it. He purchased it last year. He says he's not happy with the way it mulches. Uh, so we worked out a deal. So pretty happy about that. Originally, he wanted this lawnmower that I had, but I ended up selling it before he can get to me. And like I said, I wait for nobody. All right, so uh, I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, guys, so the first one up. Still FS56RC, straight shaft weed whacker. The guy said it hadn't rained in two years. Comes with an auto cut 25-2. This is a bump feed head. So as you smash this button, the string comes all the way out. Now everything I bought from him said it ran in drive until he ran it dry. So I put some gas in it and I let it sit overnight because by the time I got home it was late. It was actually dark out. So, uh, let's get this puppy started. Undo your strap. Now, don't mind me if you can hear the lawnmower ring. That's the crass and I'm getting the oil hot before I can service it. Alright, so let's see on the still. What is choke? So, let's put the lever up. Oh, we've got to push in and up. That's I've never had that before. Hit the trigger. All right, so that's choke off, push in, choke on, and let's give this thing a start. That's a good, that's a good thing. Got to run. Bad thing is, pull the rope out. <sighs> Nothing's ever easy. All right, let's see what we can do. All right, guys. So luckily, you guys remember my Troy built video on the weed whacker. I still saved the recoil, so I'm just going to use this for the string. So let's, un let's undo the still. I've never, I've never replaced the, the string on a still before, but should be just nuts and bolts. Should be like anything and everything else we do here. Nothing special. So right now this is a T30, okay, and uh, one, two. Three. And it looks like we should have the recoil housing on. Keyword looks. And, oh, and this looks like it overlaps. Yes, yeah, so let's take off the air filter cover. That's obviously small. The air filter cover housing is a T25. So that's right here. Zip this off. Your air filter. 
And then over here you have your high and low adjustment screws and then your idle. But since this thing runs freaking amazing, we don't need to touch those. See how, see how this covered all that? Okay. Oh, I'm sorry, so everything is a T... What did I say? It's T25. And the funny part is that fit in before. Here's our recoil housing, which sucks. See that? How the fuck am I supposed to? What an over-engineered piece of junk. Very complicated. Seems like I have to pop off this. Uh, snap ring. And pull this housing off and hopefully nothing pops out. Alright, let me look at my snap ring pliers. Wow. Alright, so I got a set of snap rings. Um, these are reversible. This is a Mac set that I got from a coworker that was given to me. Uh, I do not believe in cheap snap ring pliers. The tits, the ears snap off pretty easy. If you don't have access to a tool truck, look up this company called Lang. A lot of the major tool brands, like Snap-on, that's there as Lang is rebranded. Um, so that's your choice, whatever you want to do. I like easy. Let's uh, let's get the snap in. This has to be. You want to go up and out. Why is it doing this? It's in both ways. It's supposed to be reversed. There we go. See that? I switched it, and as I squeeze it, it's going to pull out. So now. You guys can see this. This snap ring. Squeeze out. I don't mean to take you guys off camera, but this snap ring disappears. Snap ring out. Put that over here. Let's see what happens when we take off this cover. Please, nothing pop out. Alright. See that? You do not want to undo this. We need to get that out right there and somehow fish this. Let me get some needle hoses. All right, so I have the recoil housing. Probably gonna guys take you guys a little bit off camera, which I apologize. But this is something I do not want to mess up. I'm sort of winding this by hand. And it's a little cumbersome. So this has a limit of how many times you can turn it. So let's back it off. Let's jab something in there so it doesn't move. Some sense some way.
This recoil has in fucking all these balls. No, let me just locate the hole. Now I lost track of the hole. What was where I was? I don't know why I'm going to try and fish this at the same time. It's pretty stupid. But desperate times call for desperate measures. All right. So as you guys could see. Turned it all the way, jammed the set of needle nose in there, and now I'm fishing the rope through. God, this is fucking insane. And it's coming right through. And now I'm just going to slowly but surely get this through. And we'll get a longer set of needle noses. Alright, so I got the rope through, so now I'm just trying to line it up with this hole, the exit hole out of the recoil housing. And it's pretty painful. There we go. Just a nice long pick. And come on, buddy. Right through your hole. Oh, we're almost there. We are almost there. We are just a tip away. This is insane. And please hope this recoil doesn't blow up on my face. Please. not enough space for this. Alright, so we just have to kind of... You know what's funny is I wish if I could put something sticky on this pick to push this through. Now the reason why I'm not pulling this out because there's another spring underneath. If I pull that out, I am foobard. You all know what happens when that recoil spring comes out, right? A lot of cursing. I'm trying to avoid a lot of cursing right now. Obviously, I'm cursing as is. Come on, buddy. You can do it. Let me get a different pick. All right, so now I have an L-shaped pick, so I'm going to pull the string up as I feed it through. And hopefully, it will just go through this hole. Come on.
Come on, there you are. Alright, so I kind of just jammed this through. So now, how do we hook this thing? Come on. Fuck. Fuck. Sorry. This is tedious, man. this through. God, this is this is definitely the wrong way. <laughs> but I really don't want to pull this recoil housing off because in my experience, when I pull this recoil housing off, as far as other makes and models, there's another spring underneath. And I don't want that to become unwound. And then I have to wind that back. And that is not a fun endeavor. in the hole. The tip is in the hole. Alright. We have success. Alright. Let's pull this through. this through. Tie knot around it. Alright, now we're going to release this recoil. That's the crazy part that was stuck in there. Let's see what happens. All right, I'm going to take a thing out, hold this rope, and just let it go back in, like so. Now, I'm just going to get this rope. So this rope was initially jammed inside there, so I'm going to jam it in there so it doesn't get caught. On anything like so. Alright. No, no, no. See, this is what I didn't want to do, you mother. 
All right, so I started to get this in. Didn't want to videotape this because I didn't want to. I already started cursing enough as is and trying not to curse. Sometimes it just happens when you are beyond frustrated or when you screw exactly what I did and I told you this is why I did not want to pull the housing and I don't even know how it freaking came off. Alright, I didn't want to film me putting this recoil uh, crap back in the spring because to me it's very frustrating. As you guys seen, I kind of lost my cool curse a little bit so I got to somehow figure a way to edit that out. Oh, this happens to the best of us. This is supposed to be an easy peasy one, two, three thing. Obviously not. But in the end, I hope that this is. That's it. That's this mess. Alright, we got it in there. I hope. I hope. I hope. Man, this thing freaking sucks. Let's put this snap ring back in. Alright, say a prayer. I hope that it stays in there. And what I like to do when I do snap rings is to make sure it's in there. Is to really get a socket and push it down. But we'll be fine. Please, baby Jesus. I guess that works, right? All right. Bring this back to here. Because remember, what happens is completely different sometimes than what we, when you start putting tension on there. So let's get this hose in back in. This is not grabbing. Okay, more off. Now what I should have done is pull a spark rest out, but it is what it is. There's no turning back now. Where is the air filter somewhere? I just want to make sure I have the right one. So. Please, 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 all you have to do is just start. I really shouldn't even start this thing, but I'll take the gamble when someone comes to buy because we know this thing runs, but I don't know why, I'm just a glutton for punishment. I had to 
this way, we push it in. Success. All right, part one of the 125 package, still 56 FS56 RC. Somehow, some way, recoil fixed. Got to clean it, ready to go. Next will be the Honda powered lawn boy. Oh, so if you guys found this video helpful, smash that like button, smash that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys on the next episode of Pat Taney's Performance.